Yo, I'm about to show you guys how to mix beats. Step one is I'm going to solo the 808. And I'm gonna lower it so I have some headroom around, probably around like three to six. Around the uh, delimiter. When you're mixing, you never want to mix all your stuff, is what they tell you. This is what they tell you. They tell you never want to mix your stuff all the way up because then all the artifacts, they get crushed and then they get washed. But get your 808, get, give you some headroom, like under zero dB. Then bring in your clap right after that. You don't want to have your clap too loud to where, you know, it's outshining your 808, but you don't want it too quiet. So you just want to level it around right the same. And I always make sure my claps are pretty crispy. So. Next, I'm going to bring in a hi-hat. You don't want your hi-hats too loud to where your 808s are quiet, and you don't want them too quiet to where you can't even feel the bounce. Don't ever mix your beats based off the levels you see in front of you, like visually, the meter, oh, I need to put this one a half an inch lower than this one. No, you should never do that because every sound has a different, you know, volume to it because they're all exported at different volumes and different amplitudes, whatever. So then I'm just going to bring in my perks and keep them tucked in the background. Now that I have that, I'm just going to put the kick in and then make it louder than the 808, but not too loud to where it's like OP. And then after I do that, then I bring my melody in. Then once you have them leveled, you just put on your favorite limiter, master, or plug-in, whatever. There's Waves L3 I like to use sometimes. Isotope, it doesn't matter. You can use Maximus. They all do the same thing. This is getting clipped. All of this is getting anything. I could put my ceiling at negative 6 dB and it'll be clipped. Because that's how my that's how my envelope is. My attack is zero, release zero, like everything's it's just quick. So that's why it sounds like that. It's not going over 0 dB. Like my mixes never my mixes never go louder than 0 dB. And if anything, I always, whenever engineer or whoever I'm working with, if I put it in Pro Tools, I always bring the beat down like a decibel or, or three so there's room. And then you can, you know, work on the new project around it. But basically, I don't really do any of this mixer stuff anymore, like level it up every time just because it takes a lot of time when I'm streaming and I'm trying to, you know, be efficient. So all I will do is I do that same process right here and these little knobs in the step sequencer like these knobs are really what are so fire about fl because you can just mix it all from here and i just do that there and then when i have this i just go to my master and put my limiter on and then i'm good to go i don't have to sit here and isolate every single sound because nobody wants to sit in a session when 
an artist wants to record on your beat and no one wants to sit there just soloing frequencies and mixing like no one that's just a waste of time honestly like you can do that at home so it's all about being efficient with working with somebody in a studio and then as far as mixing mixing like talking about sounds like eqs i mean all my drum kits they're already sound they sound good so i don't have to do that like i only use drum kits that i like how they sound quality wise so i don't have to edit them later I, I made my sounds sound good before they're in a beat, so that way when I put them in a beat, they can just go in. Soft Clipper, it doesn't. It, Soft Clipper does the same thing as this. It literally does the same. The release is probably like different, but it essentially does the same thing. <laughs> Like they all do the same thing and if your beats are sounding like bad quality you just and it's because of you, your mix one you got to address your sound selection make sure the sounds you're using are they have the right frequencies for what you need like your claps don't need a bunch of low end in them your hi-hats don't need any low end they're all high your claps should have high end in them I always boost them extra just so they're really crispy 808s don't need to have high end in, in them unless they're like certain distorted 808s and even then you tuck I mean mixing I'm not a mixing engineer so I'm not going to tell you here for every song this is how I mix my beats to get them to an artist